Lissandro Martinez is a very vocal player, constantly shouting and swearing at teammates if he sees them in training or on the pitch, not working hard enough, not doing good enough, demanding better from his teammates. He's a leader in and around the dressing room, just often does the half-time speeches at Manchester United, but is also a role model for the younger players because he has that warrior spirit, he fights every day and he acts like every training session is his last. And you know what? The funny thing is, everyone doubted him. Well, apart from United fans. Lissandro Martinez was getting doubted by brain-dead pundits before he'd even kicked a ball for Manchester United. And we fast forward to November where United have kept five clean sheets in a row at Old Trafford, haven't conceded an open play goal in 12 hours of football, and have only conceded one open play goal in their last eight games, in which Lissandro Martinez has started them all. And he's been absolutely fantastic for Manchester United on the pitch, but it's also his mentality, his fighting spirit and his warrior ability that's really rubbed off from the fans and even had an Argentinian flag with the butcher outside of Old Trafford for Lissandro to see. But let's dive into what Lissandro Martins is really like in training people. We know he's vocal, we know he screams and shouts at his players telling him to F off and do better. What's he like in training? What's he like in the dressing room? What's he like off the pitch? What have his teammates said about him? What's he been doing? Let's dive into some clips of Lissandro outside of the pitch and what's Tenark have to say on him? because he's known for his mentality. So hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football. Make sure you smash that like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new because tonight's upload will be about the West Ham game and some Gakpo transfer news, so you don't want to miss out. But I want to dive into that butcher, that beast, Lissandro Martins, and what he's been doing in training. Let's go and have a look. I know this is a bit irrelevant to my video because we're looking at Martinez in training and off the pitch for United, but I just really wanted to read out something that Martinez had done when he wanted to push his move to United. He spoke to one of the Ajax bosses when he wanted to leave Ajax and wanted to go to United. And he said this to them um, when he didn't let Martinez originally go to United. He said, Martinez told him, you're a fucking nobody and you're only here because Overmars had to go. And a couple of days later, the deal was done. So Overmars' replacement, Hamstro Martinez, was like, you're an epic nobody. Let me go to United. You're only here because Overmars had gone. And he's just got that warrior attitude. He's like, I want this move. Do not do that to me. And he fought for that Manchester United move. And I absolutely love that. But if we dive into Lissandro Martinez and what he's been doing, we know he's very vocal. But there was a really interesting thing Sir Dan Iqbal had to say on Lissandro Martinez. So Dan Nickball says, we do mini games and everyone takes it seriously. It lifts the stands a lot. And Leitcher regarding Lissandro Martinez takes every training session like it's his last. I'm learning things like giving 100% every single day and having the right mentality and attitude. And a lot of Manchester United players have come out and spoke about Lissandra Martins in training. He gives 100%. He acts like every training session's his last. And it's always about that winning mentality, always about that fighting spirit. And we know that's something Ten Hag is massive on. And we know that's probably massively rubbed off from Ten Hag's influence at Ajax. But Lissandra Martins is like a warrior in training. Every training session's his last. He gives 100%. He has the right mentality. He has the right attitude. And when players like Sidan Iqbal will see that, it's going to rub off on them. When players like Garnaccio see that, it's going to rub off on them. We know from Bruno and Ten Hag that Garnaccio had some disciplinary issues very early on in pre-season tour. And now he's playing because he's got his act together. And, you know, this, you know Garnaccio is going to be guided by the players like Sandra Martinez and Eric Ten Hag with this elite mentality and Casemiro. And, it, you know, this is a really good influence on the younger players coming through. Because too much in the past, younger players at United have ended up being spoiled brats because they know that there's too much player power in that dressing room. But I really want to go into what Lissandra Martins is like off the pitch. He's kind of regarded as a bit of a leader off the pitch already. I think for me, he's our next captain just from looking at him. He speaks English. He's very vocal. You know, we've, we've heard a lot about Lissandra off the pitch. And one of the big things that really showed how much of a leader Lissandra Martins was, was after the Man City game, when Man City staff could hear Bruno Fernandes and Lissandra Martins shouting in the Etihad dressing room at half time on Sunday, saying Manchester United lack belief. We know when we were 4 0 down to Man City at half time, Lissandro Martins went off on his place, screaming at them, shouting them, saying we lack belief. He lost his head so loud, he went mental at them, and he was like, You are not getting away with this. This is shocking. This is torrentious. You lack belief. Why are we lacking belief? Why are we not trying? And Lissandro lost his head. And the crazy thing was, the next day after Man City, we had a meeting Monday morning at Carrington to discuss the loss. And this was what said about the loss. It said that Eric Tenard called players on Monday for an analysis of the performance, but passion spoiled over during a frank and heated heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And Lissandro Martins and Scott McTominay were among the most vocal. And the next day at Carrington, when Eric Tenard tried to speak to people, the passion spoiled over. And Lissandro Martins did lose his head the next day at Carrington. He was very frustrated by the loss. He was very angry and he had a very passionate ran at his Manchester United players and it was said by Paul Sims 
that new boy Lissandro Martinez and Scott McTominay were said to be the most vocal United players following the Man City loss. And we know Lissandro was the most vocal in the dressing room with 4-0 down. He's a very vocal player. He doesn't let players get away with things, but he can also be a good influence in the dressing room. He's not just screaming and shouting at players, being like, you're freaking rubbish. He does do things like, um, you know, when Fred was doing well at halftime versus Tottenham, he said he gave Fred a halftime message to continue like that. He said he's happy for Fred because he's training well and he deserves to have a good half versus Tottenham. But it was also said by James Ducker of the Telegraph that the Sandra Martinez is very vocal and positive if a compo and composed, a voice in the dressing room who straddles all the different groups together and interacts readily with the academy players. So it was said again that Sandra Martinez is a very positive voice in the dressing room, very composed, and he, and he talks to everyone, not just you know the Argentina or Spanish speaking players. He speaks English. He talks to the academy players. Like he's he's a big big voice and a big big influence in the dressing room. And we know that there was a massive influence in the Ajax dressing room as well. You know, Ajax are actually really struggling without the Sandra Martinez at the back. They've already conceded more goals this season than last season. And the San, you know, Julian Timber doesn't look as good without the Sandra Martinez next to him. And Julian Timber came out in July and August, I think, and said. Sometimes on the pitch I get two casuals, but when Lissandro Martinez immediate not immediately notices it, he starts shouting and swearing at me. And, you know, Timber's been struggling since. But he said, you know, when he plays for United and he just drops off a bit or loses concentration or gets a bit casual, Lissandro is like, what the hell are you doing? What the F are you doing? Starts shouting and swearing at him, telling him to do better, te you know. Lissandro Martinez is very vocal on the pitch and we've seen that for United. We know that, you know, that man United back for that defence is solid at the moment. The stats prove that that defence is absolutely solid at the moment. And the Sandra Martinez is there shouting, screaming at players. I remember when we played against Liverpool, getting stuck right into Salah, like right until the end, fighting, shouting, screaming. We can see it on the pitch. What I love and what I really loved off from the Sandra Martinez to the other players is every block, every clearance, every tackle versus West Ham. Every time we went out of play, you could see the players like running together and hugging and fighting for it. Off the ball, the last few games, on the ball, we've been poor. But off the ball, the last few games, they've been fighting right until the very end. They've got this warrior spirit. And they spoke a lot about um, the warrior spirit of Lissandra Martinez. Ten Hag had this to say on Lissandra Martinez. He says, we are united and me and Lissandra have a good relationship. We fight together. And Leitch always does this. He says, every challenge, every duel, he'll give everything he has. The fans love it as you need some players in your team that express that. And Lissandra does every fight, every tackle, every challenge. He fights from minute one to minute 90. And you can see it on the pitch. And we're loving it. But Eric Ten Hag also said this on Lissandra Martinez. He said... He's a warrior and I think the fans will admire him. He has the right attitude. He has fighting spirit. Tenag also said on Martinez, it's a great habit to be a warrior. And he smiled when he said that. That's that's the way he is. Not everyone is the same. Don't get me wrong. But we want a fighting team. We have to construct a team that's hard to beat. And from there on, we will win games. And Tenog's absolutely right. Because although I don't think United have been at their best on the ball in recent games, when you're fighting off the ball, when you're giving everything off the ball and you're keeping clean sheets, we won games, we won our last few games purely because of the, the fight of De Gea, De Lowe, Lissandro, Luke Shaw, even Maguire and Lindelof off the pitch. The ability to work together, Casemiro as well. We are absolutely being hard to break down. Teams aren't scoring goals against us because we're giving 100%, we're fighting off the pitch and we're making it, sorry, we're fighting off the ball and we're making it hard for teams to do things. And we do know this, um, Lissandro Martinez, when he joined Manchester United, his message was to the United fans that I will give 100% every game, every training for sure. Also the team, we will do it. We will play as a team for sure. And I know the fans, I know United. And he's, his promise when he joined United was he's going to give 100%. He's going to fight for United, he's going to play as a team. And he is delivering on that promise. He's really improved the just general mentality of the dressing room. I think his influence of giving 100% of being a fighter has rubbed off on the Manchester United players. I think his mentality in the dressing room, his leadership, again, has dropped off on the United players. But he also keeps the Manchester United players in check. He shouts at them. He screams at them. If you're not doing what he wants, he's going to be very vocal about it. And he's going to make you know that you're fucking up or you need to do better. And I think we need that in the United squad. We need the standards to be higher. And the standard is like, that's not good enough. You're, you're mucking about. What are you doing? And the standards of United are slowly, slowly increasing. But look, guys, I hope you like this video talking about Lissandra Martinez. Make sure you smash that like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new because we've got a video out about 8, 9 p.m. tonight. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.